everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So today we are going to do the Jenga block cow. We're going to start off with that. So shout out to Tina V. You've been patiently waiting. I know a few of you others have asked and uh, my farm's getting bigger. I'll have to big build a bigger barn because the barn that I build, built already um well won't we'll fit the size of these and that's just getting i'm getting way too many animals so i'm not going to do too many more animals i'm going to try to get the pig in with the tutorial today if we don't then it will be uh posted at another time and also an owl and i think that's where i'm going to stop with the animals i'm just going to say that now i'm not sure if i'm going to do any more uh i do like to do other crafts with jenga and other crafts that don't have anything to do with jenga so we're going to start off with the tumbling tower aka the jenga blocks from dollar tree i'm going to use well bond you can buy well bond i buy it at rose slash lowe's uh you could buy it at michael's amazon sells it and probably some other hardware stores this is my gl glue that i use i wouldn't suggest using hot glue um, and I find it a lot better than the E6000 and this one's non-toxic where E6000 you should use in a well-ventilated area or use a mask with that. So we're going to start off with the name, um, the bodies. I did them in sections just so it's easier and I can show you without them falling and making this video super long. So the main body is going to start with nine rows by 11 across and the block will be um, horizontal vertical sorry they're not horizontal so the block will be going this way and that equals 99 blocks the next part we're going to do is the neck and the neck is 10 blocks so you have three three two and two and that's going to go right there the next part is the front part of the body. Now the front part of the body is nine blocks. We got, now this is now, we're not doing it this way like these ones, we're doing it vertical. And we got four, three, and two. We're gonna put that one right there. The next part will be the legs. It will be four Jenga blocks per leg. And when we put them on, we're gonna do it where you can see the line on the side. If you do it upwards, it is a little bit thicker. When you switch it upwards, we want them a little bit thinner so that both legs can fit. Now, I can't show you on the angle right now, but you will do that one and obviously up a little bit. But before you glue your legs, we have to put the bottom part, the under part of the body, now i have i'm just going to show you let me just move these to the side now i have the under part of the body of 12 blocks so we got two four six eight eight uh on top and four on the bottom now you can see that i glued it just before here and i'll explain why and we are going to do it and i just want to make sure i'm going to put that here now when you glue that piece onto the bottom you want to make sure that it's centered now it just it shows you it almost looks like there's a little bit of a, a dip in his body now the reason i didn't put some blocks here is we are going to make some an udder with some teats tits teats i think it's teats depends i guess on your accent how you say it we're going to attach here for the cow the next thing we are going to do, and I'm just going to move this over so I can show you the part of the head, which the head will be facing forward and not sideways. Similar to the other animals will be put in the front. Now you're going to need for the top part of the head, you're going to have 12 blocks and that's horizontal again, three rows of four, which is 12. And the bottom part will be uh four rows and the first two top rows are four across four across three and three so when i'm just going to show you here then you're going to glue it on like this so as you can see and that will be placed i'm just going to move this back Now, 
Now, what I might suggest doing before you, um, the first part of the body, you might actually, when you're gluing these sections together, so when I do this off camera, it's actually, I'm gonna show you, the head's gonna go on here. There we go. Um, but the first thing I wanted to show you is when you're, the first thing that you should glue on first would be the feet, just because it's easier to flip this over. Now we're doing that line sticking on the outwards. Would be able to put the feet on first and let those glue. Once you have that glued, then turning it to the side and adding the piece by piece, letting those glue. Now they're kind of by section and I always suggest, you know, to let, even though Well Bond dries really good, to let it really set, it does, like, I'd say, I always leave stuff overnight just for a good, you know, to let it really um, settle in and bond. So what, once I get all these glued together, I'm just gonna show you these ones here for now it's hard to show that one because it's on the angle um i'm gonna take i uh, know i use a dremel drill it's just the hand one it's from my local hardware store and i really like it it helps me now that you don't have to do this step i just like to do the round um edges uh like i've done on some of the other jenga blocks so i am gonna do all around the cow and just use the file. Now, if you don't have one of those and you just want to, you know, take the edge, the pointed edge off, I just got these, um, they're just file, uh, coarse file, nail files that you can get from DT that work is just as well. Obviously the, the drill that I have works a little bit better, but it also, I just find that it just gives it a nicer look and not so blockish, more like, you know, Minecraft. I mean, if you're after the Minecraft look would be perfect to do, but um, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna get this glued together, I'm gonna file it, and I'm just gonna act, I'm gonna paint it white, and then I will do the black spots on it. But once it's all glued together and filed and painted white, I'll come back and I'll show you because we will do the bottom part of the udder and the teats. All right, so now that I painted it white, I'm actually gonna put some black spots on it, a black design. I'm not the... Not the best at, uh, at painting. I can paint something solid, but to be a little bit artistic, this is gonna be fun. So I'm probably just gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna draw some cow spots all over. I did put the head, as you can see here, that it's on a slant, so it's turned sideways when you do it. So I'm just gonna use some black DT paint. I'm just gonna use, um, a pencil just to draw in some spots then just going right over it with uh, the paint just so I can kind of follow some guidelines and some design on it and then I'll come back and then we'll move on to another part of the body all right so I just wanted to come back so it was a lot easier than I thought I'm like I said I wasn't a painter um, when I just wrote on when I just drew the little sections on the um, the cow, I actually just went with the brush and it was a lot easier to paint that way. I found the tip, I'm gonna show you a brush that I used. Um, I found it was easier to use a brush than a pointy and more of a straight solid and it's not like the boar bristles like this one. I thought this one was a lot easier because it really helped with the lines. Some of them you can see here where I use that, but anyways, it turned out, a lot better than I thought. I did do the face like this now, and I did some little just on the bottom for the hooves. And so the next thing we're gonna do is the ears. So I just used some foam foam sheets. Um, these ones are not from Dollarama, they're from Dollar Tree, so they have a little bit of design on them, which is fine. I used some, I think, for the Jenga Block horse unicorn or the donkey so I just I just eyed it I didn't really um I didn't really measure them and you're just gonna glue it like like this right on the back 
You can do horn, little horns. Sometimes they have little, you know, cows have little horns, which you can do, which I'll show you an option. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do them. You can get just the little pinky nails. These are not, these are done from the salon, but you could also just get the little pinky nails glue one to the other side with some hot glue. So if you put the, I'm gonna glue it, you could also just glue them and you could put little horns on as well. Not sure if I'll do that yet, but I'll just show you the options. So I will glue those on. I'm just gonna use hot glue to put those on. And the next thing we are gonna do is the tail before we do the utter underneath and we are going to just use some dollar tree nautical rope now depending on what color you want to do so i'm just going to do black on there just to give it um i don't know i'm just going to do black so the best way now this one was already taped when i cut it so you have to figure out where you how long you want your tail so I'll do it say there I'm just gonna clip it right here you know what I'm gonna do it this way and I find because so it doesn't all unravel I'm gonna move this right here it's just tape it really tight when you cut it so it doesn't un all unravel okay i think now i put too much tape on it you're going to take the tape off eventually you just want to keep it nice and tight no. so then it stays like that now I'm gonna paint this black. I'm just gonna use some DT black paint on it. I have some fun fur, which is from Dollarama that I use, I guess I use some for the donkey. So it depends on what kind of, um, you know, any kind of fur that you have lying around. And I will just do, once I paint it black, I'm just gonna wrap it around a little bit. I'm gonna take the plastic off here, obviously, and I'll just hot glue some that it's just the end like this. Uh, I'll just show you, I have the donkey behind me. And I just cut it on an angle. So when I did glue it onto the donkey, um, so once you get that on, you can paint it and then you'll have to take that off and then just stick it on the side like that and I'm just going to do all black for the tail for the cow and once we once I get that done I'm not gonna I'm just showing you how to do it I will attach it to the cow and I'm gonna name her Molly by the way Molly was my dad's pet cow he had when he was young so I'm gonna name him Molly and then we'll go on to the next step for the udder all right, so I wanted to show you, I added the ears. You can see a little bit of it, uh, paint because I've been uh, just doing some touch-ups. Added ears, I normally don't do googly eyes. This case I did. Um, I tried a couple options, the googly eyes looked better. <laughs> um, I attached the tail. So now we are gonna do the udder, udder, udder. And so I'm just going to lie down here. There's some pieces I still got to touch up. I'm going to put something underneath because I don't want the ear to fall. Let me use this piece here. Or to bend. So the udder is going to go here. Now, I looked at many things and I think this is the best option. Um, so I found this dinosaur. I know it's kind of silly from Dollar Tree, but bear with me. He's pretty squishy, so it's probably gonna be a little bit hard to cut him. But if you turn him upside down, I think that would be really great for the udder. 
So I don't know how hard it is going to be to cut. I'm probably oh, not as bad as I thought. So I'm going to cut here. I'm going to cut a bigger piece only because I want to see how much leeway I have. Now you can find these obviously in the toy sections at DT. I'm just gonna cut a really big piece because then you wanna measure it, right? So you wanna make sure that you have enough to go underneath. Goodbye, dinosaur. Now he's, and you know what I'll keep him in case I might have to use his arms or legs or something. So do you see what I'm saying? So let's see. I'm not going to make this recording super long as I do it because I'll probably trim it. But for the room that you need underneath, you're going to have to cut. And I'm just going to show you a little bit more. And I'm going to paint it pink. Uh, I also have spray paint pink, but I can't remember. I, gotta, I, only, I know I have one can of it. I don't know what kind of pink it is. I don't remember. Or I'll just use Dollar Tree paint uh, or any pink I can find. But you're going to want to fit it underneath. Obviously, it's not a straight cut, but you get the idea. So once you paint that pink, you got yourself a little udder. Well, it's not little. It's a big udder. But when you do that, I'm just going to hot glue it down so... Don't worry, at the end of the video, I will turn the camera just because the way YouTube is, it's on a horizontal, but um, I will do it upright showing the finishing thing. I do have something that I wanna do put around its neck, which is reason why it's on an angle and the way the neck is, don't worry. Um, I will show you that after. But so I'm just gonna play around with it just to make sure I get it the way I want it. And I just like the design of it, as you can see. So it kind of, it's not just plain. There was different ideas I had around and I just and I just walked past the dinosaur and turned it upside down. And I said, you know what, this is it. Cause I thought about making some, even with um, just some foam and putting some, you know, hot glue on it. And, but when I saw this, I'm just like, it fits perfect. So I'm going to get this on. I still got to do the face. I'm just going to paint it, I think, just round with the warm beige on it. Put a couple nostrils on it. And then um, right on here, I'm not the best painter. Remember I told you that, guys. I'm surprised this, it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. But I'm going to get this painted pink, glue it on, bring it here, and I'm going to show you the final result. I am not gonna do the pig in this tutorial because it's already ran longer than I wanted for a video, but I promise I will do the pig and I had so many requests for the owl. So I will eventually be doing them. Doesn't mean it's gonna be the next video, guys. It's just when I have a, uh, you know, when I get the time, I do like to do other videos. So um, please bear with me. So let's get this finished up and we'll come to the end result. All right, so before um, I show the final ending, I just wanted to show you a couple things. So I did the udder, according to my son, it has a few more teats on it than it's supposed to. So I cut um, the two uh, ends off here and I cut a little bit smaller. I am just gonna leave the eight on there, you know. Uh, Molly's a special cow. So, and that will be attached. I just wanna hold this up because I don't wanna bend that ear. Um, I think it was this way. And then I'm just going to hot glue it in like this underneath. So I did try to use this spray paint and because of the dinosaur, I don't know if it's just the plastic or it didn't hold very well. So I just used some DT, um, cotton candy pink on it. So I will close it up to there. I'll get that on. I want to do, I want to do a modification for the nose. Um, I tried painting on there. I didn't like it just with the texture of the blocks in the front. So I did just take an extra two Jenga blocks and glued them together. And I just used my, my drill and you can use the nail file. I just think it's, uh, 
I just wanted to add something a little different. So the total blocks will be 174 instead of 172 because of the two extra blocks. I'm just gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna add it on there. I'm not gonna do a pink color. I, I am just gonna do a warm beige, which is from Dollar Tree, and paint that. And then I'm just gonna paint some nostrils on it. And I will show you the upright version, guys, as soon as I get this little modifications done. I think this, oh, there it is, perfect, that helps. Now, actually, I'm gonna move this and show you. So around the neck, you could do a bunch of different things. I didn't have a cowbell. Um, I tried to look through my supplies and I didn't have one. So DT has, has these bandanas. I wanted to do something around his neck just so it doesn't look so blocky. That's why I put it a little bit higher. So it came in two pieces or two bandanas in the one. They have the different color ones too. So I just basically cut a corner right off that, like such. It looks a lot bigger, but let me do that right here. There, perfect. Oops. That you're just gonna gather it and you're just gonna tie it around. I just think it looks super cute. And you'll have the little extra nose on it. Actually, it kind of looks just the color it is. It kind of gives it a look already. I don't know if I'm gonna paint it now. Now I'm thinking about it. Kind of just gives you that little extra look. But, um, so let me change the, get the the udder put on and the little extras on, and then I will flip the camera over and show you the final result. All right, so Molly's finally done. She has her bandana on. I put a little can with some, well, it's just some snow, but it looks like milk and put the little stool. I think it turned out really well. My son really likes it. He thinks it's super cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed and you like what you see, please subscribe and we'll see you guys soon. Happy crafting. Bye.